Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Join me as I spend the day at the Tokyo Nomi no Ichi, which is an annual three-day flea market held at the Showa Kinen Koen, which is a big park in Tachikawa. It was my first time going and it was much bigger than I had expected and I really enjoyed it and wanted to share with you all. There were over 250 vendors this time and you can see they were split into 20 various areas depending on what kind of goods they sold. Some of the main areas included used books and clothing, interior goods, flower shops, the world's tea room which sold teacups and pots from all over the world. My sister and I really like looking at things like cups and plates and there were so many booths with so many different styles and types of tableware. <laughs> There were booths selling food as well, but when we went, it was right around noon when everyone else was hungry and we didn't feel like waiting in the long lines, so we went to a little booth where this Sweden-inspired cafe was selling some baked goods. There were some areas on the grass to sit, and I was glad I brought my picnic sheet so we were able to sit down and enjoy our sweets. I think that it's so interesting that Nomi no Ichi literally means flea market and I believe it originated from a French phrase which literally implies that some of the furniture or used clothing and other items might be flea infested. Of course, I don't think anything here was flea infested as everything was in really good condition and while there were many used items or antique items, there were lots of booths selling new items as well. The whole time I was there, I wished that I had the money and space to fill my house with all of these lovely finds. Or I wish I had a cute little cafe that I could decorate so that everyone can enjoy them as well. I loved seeing everyone look through these thousands of items looking for their treasure to take home with them. There was something for everyone, and it was so exciting to not only search for things that match my usual aesthetic, but I also feel like when you're presented with so many things, a variety of different things, it really starts to widen the types of aesthetics that you like as well. I realized that I don't own many antique items, but I do love looking at them and trying to imagine whose hands it belonged to before and what these things meant to them and what kind of life they lived with that item. I also really like the overall atmosphere of the event since everyone was so bright and happy and it was just such a positive vibe overall. I think the event organizers did such a great job with the designs of the event as well as putting together various entertainment throughout the day such as musicians, a stamp rally game, and even a bubble and balloon area for the kids. I personally really enjoyed these performers. They really just raised the mood of the event and I couldn't help but stop and clap and dance along with the kids because they were just so cute and bubbly. items, there were also a lot of handmade items as well. As someone who also enjoys making handmade accessories, it's so great to see the person who actually made the one-of-a-kind item and it makes the purchase a lot more meaningful because they always look so happy and proud to have customers interested in what they spent time and energy making with their own hands. My 
sister got a very dainty white silver necklace from this shop and it's so pretty and I've never seen a design quite like it at a normal accessory shop so I think she made a great purchase. I also like these blind date with a book and book trade boots that I'm sure avid readers would love. You can bring your own book to trade with someone else or challenge a new book without knowing anything about it. I saw some people describe visiting the flea market as a Japanese idiom, Ichigo Ichie, which literally translates to one time, one meeting, and it means that each moment is an opportunity, so you should cherish it. It may sound a bit deep if we're just talking about a flea market, but I do feel that when you're somewhere like this, you feel a pull towards certain items because you're not guaranteed that you'll ever run into it again. And it's also kind of a memory to take home of your day. I say that, but as I'm editing this and looking back, I'm reminded of so many things that I had looked at, like this handkerchief, and really wanted but ended up not getting because I'm so indecisive. I really want to go back and the fall flea market is going to be held in November so maybe I'll be able to visit and hopefully see some of the same vendors. I ended up getting this beautiful plate after a lot of contemplation because as some of you may know, I have a pet rabbit and I love flowers and I love the art so much that rather than using it to eat off of, I bought a little stand and now it is sitting in my living room as decoration. We ended up spending about four whole hours browsing around until our feet were tired and it was so fun. I would definitely recommend spending an afternoon there if you happen to be around on the days that they're open and I really want to go again. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I'm trying to upload a bit more frequently if you can tell and I would love to hear if there are any types of content that you would like to see from me. So please leave a comment and I'll see you again in the next video.